let us discuss about compound microscope. What is compound microscope? Where it is used? Compound microscope is used for viewing minute particles like viruses and bacteria. Viruses and bacteria. You can view viruses and bacteria by using compound microscope. So, what is the structure of this compound microscope? This is having two metallic tubes. This is one metallic tube and this is another metallic tube. This is small metallic tube and this is larger metallic tube. Okay. So, this, these metallic tubes consist lenses. See, smaller tube consists of a convex lens. This is having lesser focal length. So, this is called objective lens. This is called objective lens. So, this is lesser focal length. Next, another metallic tube that is bigger metallic tube consists another convex lens. This is, this is having larger focal length and this is called eye lens. It is eye lens. So, this is objective lens and this is eye lens for compound microscope. In the smaller tube, we are having objective lens in compound microscope and in bigger tube, we are having eye lens which is having larger focal length. So, this is the construction of compound microscope. So, if you place an object between focal length of a objective lens and center of the curvature, see, if you place a candle in between this focal length and center of curvature of a objective lens, we get the magnified object like this. These are the rays parallel to the principal axis and of refraction they are passes through the principal focus of our objective lens. Next, another ray will pass us through the optical center. So, these two are met at this point. Here the magnified image is formed. This is formed beyond the center of curvature of a objective lens. So, this image is formed behind the center of curvature of a objective lens. This is the magnified image. And this magnified image, so the object is A, B and this magnified of A1, B1 because it is inverted. This is inverted and magnified image formed behind the center of curvature of a objective lens in a compound microscope. This real image, this is real image, magnified image and it is inverted. So, this real image becomes to the object of a eye lens. Okay, this image is object to the eye lens. So, if you adjust the eye lens, this real image is placed between optical center O and principal focus Fe of a eye lens. So, it is placed between principal focus and optical center of a eye lens. Okay. So, where is the image is formed? The image is enlarged and it is virtual, formed virtual image because the rays are divergent from a point. See, observe here, if you draw a line like this, it is another draw like this, another line, this is parallel to the axis and after refraction, it will pass like this this it is passes through the principal focus of a eye lens. Next another ray also passes through the optical center. So, these two are not met anywhere. So, somewhere the magnified image is formed. Where is if you extend these lines like this, this is extended like this and another ray, this is also extended like this backward. These two rays are extended backward and here these two are met. Hence, the image is formed here. Where is the image? This is. This is the image. So, what are the characteristics of our image? A to B to. So, this is the image and this is the object for the eye lens and this is the image, final image of the eye lens. Okay. So, these two are same side of the lens. These rays are diverging from this point. And see it is a virtual image. It is virtual image. So, because of the eye lens, we get virtual image. It is highly enlarged. It is highly enlarged. It is a magnified image. 
highly magnified image it is highly magnified image so in this way we can see the small objects in larger size you can view the smaller objects like virus and bacteria in larger size so magnified size so what is the use of compound microscope compound microscope is used to view minute particles like virus and bacteria and some other particles some other blood cells in our body so in this way we can view different smaller objects minute objects using compound microscope and what is it is having two lenses one is objective lens in, in front of smaller tube and another is eye lens in bigger bigger tube okay so because of eye objective lens we get magnified image here and because of eye lens we get virtual and highly enlarged magnified image okay this is the working of a compound microscope so we can view the image here here the if you consider i is here we can view the magnified image from this side so this is the construction of compound microscope thank you